Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for October 10th and 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com. And I want to thank you guys for all of the beautiful reviews I've received from you guys on Amazon. I really, really appreciate it. Um, also, my personal readings are closed at this time. If you want to put on, be put on the waiting list, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. However, I do have a free reading contest going on, so all the information is at the end of, the, at the end of this video, so stick with me till the end. Okay, so let's jump right in here. All right. So, what's going on my Libra Dramatic Love Life for October 10th to 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. And also, Libra, we're going to go through your day-to-day. -day. We're going to go over the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. So if you're confused at all about what's going on with the day-to-day, -day, stick with me till the end for the overall outcome, and it's going to be all clear for you. So if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, remember, this is going to be the day-to-day, -day, so we're going to be doing October 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th. And you guys can also uh, cross-watch for more information. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Let's look at the overall energy. We got the Ace of Wands, which shows me that, wow, there's some potential for passion this week. Okay. All right, so we're some new passion energy. All right, so what's going on with my Libra's Romantic Love Life? And as you guys know, I like to use three different decks. We're going to be using the old style Lenormand, the Ryder Greer for the, um, about to say the Ryder Greer, <laughs> the Morgan Greer for the Tarot, and then the Aizen for the Oracle. All right, so what's going on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for October 10th to the 16th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so first of all, it looks like in the, the start of the week here, there's this defensive energy here. Um, because there's somebody who's feeling really, really trapped and stressing. Uh, but then it seems like things just turn in your favor. Like by the, by the 12th here, it looks like things are going to start moving in your favor here. It's like things are aligning for you. Okay? So let's see what this defensive energy is about. Why do you feel like you're going to get hurt here? Well, um, the ring card can talk about marriage you can talk about commitments engagement or marriage or you're kind of like i don't want to keep repeating these same patterns okay so there's a lot of thinking and contemplating about can i fulfill my desires here and then what's this worry about okay so there's a message that you receive there's some kind of letter text message facebook message or something to do with this paperwork here and you're stressing about it because you're like all right me yeah, like my hands are tied with this situation what am i going to do about this and then we see the wheel of fortune energy coming out it seems that luck is on your side. Again, the Clover card can represent luck. So it looks like there is this lucky situation that happens for you. So we see there's a commitment or something to do with this commitment, engage your marriage and this paperwork text message or a letter, a commitment to a letter, message or document and taking a risk or uh, for some of you a reconciliation. Okay. We see there's defensive energy about getting hurt because this worry and anxiety about uh, things moving in your favor. We see that you're going to have to make some kind of choice that you're going to have to think about this week. And then we see here on the 13th, it looks like there may be self-isolation going on here with the Nine of Pentacles energy or self-focus going on here or, mon or money could be a focus here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. So let's see what this is about. Or somebody could be a single and available because that is the single and available. Card. All right, so... What's going on with Libra's Romance and Love Life for October 10th to 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what's this ring card about? So again, we're seeing the stress card. Stressing about this commitment, gauge or marriage, or repeating patterns, defensive about getting hurt on this day. All right. And look at that, you're gonna receive a message that's gonna make you really happy here, but still you're stressing or you have a little bit of anxiety around that. 
Okay, so let's see what the next day is. All right, and then we see because of this risk, because of this gamble about things turning in your favor, you're still a bit defensive about getting hurt here with the safe card energy. You're kind of like questioning yourself, like, is it really safe for me to love? You know, is things really moving in my favor? Okay, so be cognizant. The universe is moving in your favor on that day. I know you're gonna feel defensive on that day, but yes, things are moving in your favor. So let's keep going. We see that there's a person card coming out. So that could be you, it could be the love interest, okay, it could be a person involved with the situation. It does look like you guys are connecting here, spiritually here. So I feel like you guys are kind of giving yourself some time. I feel like that on this day, you're giving yourself some time, you're tuning into your intuition, you may be giving yourself some time for meditation, okay, giving yourself some quiet time here. All right, so it doesn't looks like a, a self-care day on that day. So we see here on the 14th, the Two of Pentacles card is coming out. So it looks like you guys are gonna be doing some juggling, some multitasking going on that day. You're gonna be making, making some choices or weighing some choices here. Yeah, it's like you're gaining some strength or courage around this with the Bear card energy because you need to make a decision very soon. So you're kind of like, all right, I need to take control of this to make this decision very soon. And then we see there is this Queen of Pentacles energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So this is a very motherly energy, a very nurturing energy, a very supportive energy. Queens also come out when you guys are getting advice or there's this patient energy about, man, I need to do some contemplation about what I'm gonna do on a long-term basis. We see that, yes, the doll card is coming out. So you may be talking to a, a friend or speaking to a friend or a friend that may be very supportive for you because you're trying to make this decision. So I feel like maybe you've talked to somebody on this day it's going to be a happy day and a, a day of, you know, this uh, positive energy that's going to surround you. Don't worry, I'm going to bring everything together. All right, and then we see the last day here on the 16th is the Ten of Pentacles energy, which talks about family and long-term commitment. It is a very emotional day, or for some of you, because Ten of Pentacles can represent money and fish can represent money. You could be dealing with some things to do with money and finance on this day, but I feel like for some of you, it has to do with family, long-term commitment, and it's a very emotional day. And it looks like there's going to be a very uh, healing day or there's some sense of reconciliation, or for some of you, because of this money situation, it really reconciles, it really brings some good things to you on this day. Uh, the sense of healing and recovery here. All right, so let's go through this. So there seems to be some stress here about being happy because you're defensive about getting hurt. I feel like you guys are tuning into your intuition to try to make some kind of decision about this happiness and wanting to, you, I feel like some of you are deciding whether or not you want to reconcile with someone, okay? And you're kind of going back and forth here about it. Kind of like, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. All right, so, because you're kind of like, all right, here's the spiritual lessons around this. Maybe I need to like go deeper here with this. Maybe analyze this deeper. Think about this deeper and kind of bring light to it. Yeah, there's some defensive energy about this commitment and there's stress about this letter message, text message, or Facebook message. And it looks like um, on that day, it seems like it's lucky because you know there's something to do with this reconciliation or someone's gonna take a risk here. I feel like on the next day, you're gonna isolate yourself and separate yourself because you're trying to weigh this choice and option about what to do about this situation if you wanna reconcile with this person because you don't really wanna get hurt. And uh, so I feel like you guys are gonna talk with a friend, speak with a friend, get some kind of emotional support there, someone who is a nurturing figure because that's the motherly kind of energy with there, the uh, Queen of Pentacles, and it's right next to the family card. So I feel like by the end of the week there, I feel like you, you know where you stand emotionally and, uh, and it is this situation when it comes to family and long-term commitment and you're ready for uh, this situation to come together. So, and you're really doing a lot of thinking, contemplating and analyzing about it. So, but let's, let's go through the numbers here. There is some thinking, contemplating about this choice and six tells me healing, recovery and love and whether or not this is gonna fulfill your desires and you're analyzing this if you want to accomplish this, complete this. So I, I wanna see what we're gonna do with the overall outcome here, but that's what I see so far. Okay, so let's now take a look at Libra. Let's take a look at what's going on with your love interest feelings here. Okay, so love interest feelings. Oh, they do feel very passionate about you with the Queen of Wands energy. They do feel like you have a lot of lookers too. This person feels like there's something deceptive here. Um, mm, or, okay. 
they may be, okay, for some of you, so the way the card combinations are coming out here, they may be spying on you um, uh, because there's a, this obsessive energy here with the Devil card and the Seven of Swords and then the Queen of Wands, this one, uh, someone notices someone and it's like, you know, there's this very attractive energy. Okay, so be aware of that. Block delays and challenges because of isolation or separation and strong desires. There's the snake card energy. Yep, isolation, separation. This person's at a crossroads of what to do and they do want to communicate with you. Yeah, this person I feel like could be checking you out, spying on you, uh, looking at you from afar. Okay, so you, if you see here, this Queen of Wands, she's kind of like, she's doing her thing. She's just being that beautiful you know, person that she is. And uh, you can see there's someone kind of looking at her and like checking her out and seeing what's going on because of this obsessive thinking going on. So this person is a, a bit obsessed, okay, at this time, because they do really feel attracted to you. They have these strong desires for you. And uh, they feel very isolated and separated from you and they don't know what to do. They're at a crossroads and they just want to communicate with you. Okay. But be cognizant of that fact. Okay. So let's see what your block actually in challenges this week. All right. Does this fulfill my desires? Yes. It looks like you guys have to make a choice about whether or not you want to get back together with this person uh, or if you want to move on here. And it looks like there's this news that come in, right? And you're trying to gain knowledge about what to do here with the book card energy. Um, so you're questioning, okay, will this fulfill my desires? You know, should I have taken action here? Because that's like the Knight of Wands energy for me. Will this fulfill my desires? Again, that's also the fulfillment of desires card. So I need to gain knowledge. So let's keep going and let's see what the overall outcome is here. Okay, so there's this strength, courage, and confidence, and this potential offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy, for marriage and long-term commitment for Wands energy. Okay, so for some of you, since I see these cards lining up for the overall outcome, it looks to me, for some of you, uh, this person wants to reconcile with you, and they want a serious connection. Obviously, we saw family and long-term commitment. For others of you, you had been hurt before in the past, and you're really hesitant in taking a risk when it comes to this connection. Um, so that's the reason why you're kind of going back and forth. You're kind of like, I don't know if I want to get hurt again. I don't know if I want to put myself in that situation. I don't know if I want to repeat these same patterns. Okay. We see a person card coming out and this sense of confusion, which is a burden and a challenge to you. Yes, the confusion is coming into play because you're just like, should I take this opportunity, right? This, this uh, for marriage, long-term commitment, or for some of you, you know, should I go forward with this particular offer to reconcile when it comes to this stable relationship or marriage or long-term commitment? So let's keep going. Yeah, because there's a lot of regrets about what happened to you in the past. And it seems like there is the sense of chemistry and passion when it comes to this opportunity. So you're, you're having the sense of, I don't want to regret this. And you're kind of looking at how passionate do I feel about this particular opportunity? Okay, so this is a bit of a cliffhanger. You can see that. So you obviously are going to have to make a choice about whether or not you want to be in a serious commitment with this person, okay? Because the person card is saying, okay, it could be you, it could be the love interest, okay, it could be the person infringing upon the connection. But in this situation, it's either you or the love interest. And you're questioning whether or not you want to take this huge offer when it comes to a, a long-term commitment here with the Four of Wands energy. For some of you, since the ring card came out and family and long-term came out, it could be for family and long-term commitment. For some of you, it could be to heal this family and long-term commitment, okay? Because you're stressing about this. All right, my beautiful Libras, you guys can check out the monthlies, which will have the whole month of October to get more information about what's going on here. Also, I did put up the next two weeks, so... You can check that out and assess the love connection because obviously you guys are debating a choice here about what to do. So you may want to check out that reading for your sign. That's all in the playlist. And if you were wondering why a love connection ghosted you, you can go check that out right now as well. And the next reading that's coming out is who is your soulmate? And then you guys can tell me in the comments below what neat reading uh, besides that one you want me to come out with next. For the free reading contest, all you have to do is put Twin Flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much. And also, by the way, uh, this reading is similar to, I feel like it was the Taurus reading, so you may want to check that one out as well. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys soon.